Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a material which applies a random texture onto multiple meshes like you see here. So this is perfect for books. As you can see, I've got a load of books all with the same texture on. Sorry, all with the same material on, but they're all different textures. So this just makes it really easy to quickly have a lot of variation in your books or whatever else you want. And obviously you can add more textures to make it more random and less chance of having the same one. But for me, I used six, which I'll link the download to those textures in the description below. So let's get started. And to start, we're going to create the actual material itself. So what you want to do is just select all of your books or the objects and the meshes that you want to apply this material to. So I just select them all like that and then go down to the textures tab, hit new and we now have that material. And if you hit control L and then materials, you've linked that material to all of the selected objects. So there you go. Now you can just click on one of them and you have the material on all of them. So if you have one selected and then go into the shading tab up at the top here and now we can edit these nodes here. And now if you don't see these nodes, go up to the top here and tick the use nodes button. And so what we're gonna do is now just delete this principled BSDF here, like so. And then we're gonna hit Shift A, search and get a texture coordinate like so. Put that in. And after that, we're just gonna get a mapping node like so. And then we're gonna plug the UV from that into the vector of there like so. And after this, we're going to input all of our textures. So I'm going to be using the book cover textures, but again, you can use whichever ones you like and as many as you like. So let me just import those now. So you just shift A, search for image texture, like so, and then you just open up the one that you want. So now that we've got all of those in, you're going to want to make sure that the settings are the same as this. So have it as linear, flat, repeat, single image, and the color space as sRGB. And then the vector off of the mapping, we're just going to plug into the vector of all of these image textures, like so. And after this, we're going to want to create a node group, which is essentially, we're going to create a line of code and then put it in a group so we can easily use it for all of these. So you just find some space and then we'll make this group down here. So what we're going to want to do is shift A, search and get a transparent BSDF, like so. And then also get a diffuse BSDF and then get a mix shader like so and plug the transparent one into the top shader and the diffuse into the bottom shader like so and then offer the mix shader and then that's it so now we just select that and hit Control g and then that should create the group so then you just so you just plug in the group input into the color of the diffuse and then the bottom one into the fact of the mix shader like so and then the mix shader into the group output like that and that's now our group done. So if we hit tab, we can exit out of that. Now, if we just move this group up to our image text like this and just copy and paste it so that we have all of the groups that we need for all of our mix shaders like so. And then obviously we just plug the color into the color and the alpha into the fac like so. We just do that for all of these textures into these groups and that should be that part done. So once you've done that, we're gonna to want to get some more mix shaders after these. So I'm just gonna move the output like this and I get a mix shader for each two. So we've got those two into one, these two, and these two. So I'm gonna need three. Obviously do this for the amount of textures you have, but for me, I only need three as two go into one and obviously six divided by two is three. So there we go, I've got them and I just put the shader into each shader like so and do that for all of them like this. And then these mix shaders, I'm gonna go into another two mix shaders like this. So we're basically just gonna keep doing this until we get down to one, which will go into the output. So again, do this for how many you have, but mine will be three, two, and then one. Basically just halving it every time as each mix shader will join into another one like this. And there we go. And then let's just put the shader of this into the surface output of this. Now we're not quite finished yet because we need to actually set up the randomness of these textures. So to do that, we're gonna need to shift A, search and get an object info node. Zoom in on this and then we're gonna get a color ramp like so. And then we're gonna plug the random into the fact of this. And then as I have six image textures here, I'm gonna to want to have six different nodes in the color ramp. So the first one you set up to have as many nodes 
as you do image textures. And you're gonna to want to make sure they're evenly spread out. So a good way to do this is just do one divided by six and then use that as the first and then add them up to get each one. So I'll add a new one, get my calculator out and do one divided by six, which is this number here. So then copy and paste that and put that into the position like so. And then we just wanna get that, so then times two, and then we have that number for our second one. And you just do this until you have it all filled up. So once you have all these set up evenly apart like this, we're gonna to want to change it from RGB linear to RGB constant like this. And I set it to black, white, black, white, alternating like so. So this one's obviously full black, that one's white. So we want this one to be black again. And then this one to be white and then black and white like so. And there we are, and then I need to do this again. So you just do this for as many lines of mix shade as you have. So I have three lines, so I need to have three color ramps. So let me just do this again. And then the amount of nodes in this color ramp will be half of this one. So I have six in here, so I'll only need three in here. If I just take that down, there's three. So three is at one, and then obviously three divided by one is 0 0.33 recurring and then two will obviously be 0.6 like so and again make sure it's black white black like this and then the last one only really need two I just get to two set it to one and have one set it to 0.5 and then just change these colors so that one's black and this one needs to be white like so and then make sure to set the end one black again and there we are now we have those set up and again, make sure to plug the random into the fact of all of these. There we go, and now we need to plug the color and alpha into our mix shaders accordingly. So we just get the color and then just plug it into the fact of the mix shaders that we need to do. So I'm just gonna move these forward so that they correspond better with where they are. So the first one is gonna go into our first set of mix shaders, like so, and then the second one, obviously into the second set, like that, and the last one just into this final mix shader. And again, you do this for as many as you need to do. And then that should be it all done. So if we go back into the layout, we can see that we now have random textures on all of the books. And if you don't have this, make sure that all the textures are actually linked together. So again, select all of them, set the material onto one of them, and then control L and hit materials to link them. And so there we are. All of these books have the same material, but have different textures on just to easily get a bit of diversity in there. But I think that'll be it for this video. I've got to do everything I want it to do. We have one material set on all of the books and we have a different texture on each one. And obviously this works with how many textures you want, whichever textures you want and on whatever object you want. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.